Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Members, I appreciate the opportunity to speak against this bill. You know, voting has always been a, a very important part to my family. I grew up around the political process, and I was constantly told and heard about the importance of voting. I remember during my most formative years in the 80s and 90s, several bipartisan efforts like Rock the Vote and others whose mission it was to increase voter turnout. At the time, what mattered most was that we increased the number of people who voted. We knew that an engaged electorate meant so much to the quality of our government. Democrats and Republicans worked together to register voters and encourage voting first before pushing their political agenda. The first thing my father asked of me when I turned 18 was that I register to vote. I was so proud to be able to finally vote for my dad and the other elected officials in my community that I grew up knowing. I have fond memories of being a kid and accompanying my parents to the polls. The poll workers were so friendly. It was a great community experience. It is no longer like that. The advent of voter ID and other oppressive voting laws make polling places or have made polling places a very stressful and fearful environment. These laws have been proven in a court of law to suppress Hispanics, African Americans, and the elderly from voting. Voter ID is a solution looking for a problem. There was essentially no evidence of voter impersonation that would merit continued support of such a drastic oppressive measure. Many people believe that voter ID laws were specifically targeted at suppressing minority voting because of the so-called tendency for minority voters to vote Democrat. If future generations of minority voters were uncertain about which party to support, laws like this are sending a clear message of where they are welcomed. Members, if you're concerned with voter fraud, let's get serious about working on policy and addressing real concerns with maintaining the integrity of the electoral process. You have my commitment to do that. However, the consequences of these voter ID laws would suppress the most historically disenfranchised voters are unacceptable. We cannot adopt laws that would keep anyone, anyone members from exercising their, cost, their constitutional right to vote. At this time in our country's history, to do so is unconscionable. Thank you.